Hello, this is Sachin Savant, your UK immigration lawyer. Today, I'm going to talk from the employer's perspective. Employers who are sponsoring migrant workers, especially students or graduate route holders, they are asking, they may be looking for skilled worker positions. Employers are interested. Uh, I have done many, many cases where students are already working with the employer and then they switch into a skilled worker visa or on the graduate road visa they have the two years to to work with any employer they work with the employer they build up a good rapport and obviously the employer and employee don't want to leave each other so this is a workaround that can be, it is possible uh, the main point that always comes is the cost cost of sponsor license sponsoring costs everything so this is something that can be proposed by either parties especially for the employees i understand employees always speak to us and they always come up with the cost aspect of things uh, all the costs of the employee of the migrant you are sponsoring can be transferred to him can be deducted in future can be reimbursed uh, from him uh, maybe even a side letter or something you can speak to employment lawyers i'm not an employment lawyer but yes you can also have maybe reimbursement contracts etc uh, but yeah we'll have to see specific situations and we can advise accordingly so yes the cost can be reimbursed by the employee by the student or the graduate root holder who wants to get the visa uh, the employees you are sponsoring the person on a skill worker visa you can get reimbursed the costs of sponsoring the 536 for the sponsor license the immigration skills charge we would ideally suggest that the employer should bear at least 364 per year for small employers. I'm only talking about small employers here. Uh, so you, it's 364 per year of visa. If you give three years of visa, you multiply that by three. I think it comes to 1092 or something. Uh, I've done it many times. So that is immigration skills charge is something that we would ideally advise that the employer should bear uh, themselves. Uh, other than that, Maybe the sponsor license fee, maybe the cost fee of 199 can be transferred to the employee reimbursed in any way. Immigration and surcharge, visa, application fee, super priority fee, if any, uh, dependence fee, everything can be reimbursed by the employee to the employer. So the employers, if they want to sponsor someone, they can get these fees reimbursed. So there's nothing stopping them. and. It can be a working arrangement between the employer and the employee. Uh, we do advise many employers and employees where they mutually want to work with each other. And yes, we don't find employers for you. So <laughs> important, we don't have, we don't provide recruitment services, but definitely if the you have already found an employer who is willing to sponsor you or you are an employer, you have someone on a student or a graduate visa and you want to hire them on a skilled worker visa, you want to discuss about the costs, or you want to get the whole thing done, the sponsor license, getting the certificate of sponsorship, getting the visa applications done for the main applicant and the family members, etc. Yes, we can do it. And we do advise, we do provide advice, we do provide full service, we do provide checking service. There are different things that we can provide uh, for your specific situation. Definitely book a consultation with us. If you do like this video, do give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel follow us on various social platforms facebook twitter etc and thank you very much